P. Diddy, the famous hip-hop mogul, is in the midst of a mysterious situation that has everyone wondering where he could possibly be. Recently, his properties in Los Angeles and Miami were raided, adding fuel to the fire of speculation surrounding his whereabouts. Imaginations run wild with the image of Diddy, in a nod to Elvis, slipping away unnoticed, perhaps even disguised in a black ski mask as he makes a dramatic exit with a bag of money in hand, humming his hit Bad Boy for Life. The scene sounds like something out of a movie, but reality often proves to be stranger than fiction. Whispers and rumors swirl about Diddy seeking refuge aboard his private jet, evoking thoughts of a modern-day Gatsby soaring high above the chaos and drama. The glamour and intrigue of it all add an irresistible allure to the unfolding saga. As the internet buzzes with speculation and armchair detectives try to piece together the puzzle, one thing is certain. The mystery of Diddy's disappearance has captured the public's imagination. The hunt for the truth behind his vanishing act is on, and the world eagerly awaits the next chapter in this unfolding tale of fame, fortune, and intrigue. A story we're following, and of course we're trying to gather more and more information about it here on Live Now from Fox, as Diddy's home in Los Angeles has been raided by uh, Homeland Security. Of course, we're learning more information. I do want to take you back out here before we get out to our Fox 11 team in their coverage, because some of the video is very dramatic, and we don't know a ton of information right now about this here on Live Now from Fox. Of course, breaking news Please. of this, uh, as you can see, potentially law enforcement officials officials and other officials just outside of a gate, this on a street uh, near the Beverly Hills area. Of course, we're following it very closely on Live Now from Fox. And of course, we were watching this. We didn't know exactly what we were seeing at the time. So this is just a little bit ago as they, you can see a crowbar to get through this gate initially as well. The long guns and a multitude of people, as you'll see, they'll zoom out a little bit just to see the amount of force they are using to get inside this home. And of course, the complex in which this home sits is a very expansive one for the American rapper and producer. You can see them checking inside of a vehicle. We don't know exactly what is involved, if Diddy's even there. We don't know a ton of information about this at all, but this was dramatic video coming in of the Los Angeles home there, raided by Homeland Security. Some of those images there on the backs of them. We also saw uh, other images. I want to uh, kind of quickly move to what else we saw as people were led away, potentially in custody. Don't know who these individuals are, if they're related to Diddy in any way, but you can see them, a dramatic video from our Sky Fox team there in Los Angeles as we continue to cover this. And our Fox 11 team is there on the ground right now as we speak. Let's take you out to some of their coverage here as we follow this developing story out of Los Angeles. And then detain those three people inside. We haven't seen any signs of P. Diddy himself. Again, we're hearing that he is possibly in New York, uh, but several people inside the home that uh, will surely be questioned. Uh, it's a very chaotic scene when all of this happened. Uh, lots of, um, of neighbors wondering what's going on, of course, and uh, we'll keep you updated. But it's definitely going to be quite a scene here for the remainder of the day. When you see this number of law enforcement agencies coming together, making this type of raid to such a big, high-profile mansion like this, in a neighborhood like this as well, this is very thought out, methodical, planned out for days. So they base this on a number of information gathering that they've received and evidence or what they're looking for. So clearly, this is not something they do lightly. They really go th through the process of making sure that everything is ready before they conduct a raid like this. So yes, this took a lot of planning for all these multiple agencies to come together to actually now conduct a type of raid like this, as you're seeing right now with this street also uh, shut down for the time being, because Haley, you could see the perimeter has been set up in that neighborhood to keep just the public back from the work that's being done. And there you have the shot from Sky Fox. Again, these heavily armed vehicles right next to all those luxury cars you are you see a Porsche, a G-Wagon, so many luxury cars right there on that property. So it is a very differing uh, juxtaposition there uh, of what you're seeing. But look at this mansion here in Holmby Hills where the raid is taking place. Again, we don't know 
what exactly they're looking for, who they're looking for. But again, this could possibly be linked to a sex trafficking investigation involving rapper Sean Combs, the music executive. But as you heard from Haley right there, she believes and she's been hearing that we do not think that Sean Combs is on that property at home right now. He may be in New York. It is being conducted, but we do know from our reporting that over the course of the year already, just as early as uh, March this year, there have been several lawsuits filed against Sean Combs. So clearly this could be part of it. We are not sure at this point. But again, Stu, if you could hear me, what are you seeing right now in terms of uh, your point of view? Well, again, we saw some of those uh, officers right there at that one of the back houses. They did bring a ladder in. They were they they actually went out and brought that ladder into that property. You see it right there, and then they brought another ladder. So there's probably something inside this building right here that they are very curious about, or they were like you said, it was very well planned. They knew they were going to need that ladder to make access. So the, there is something inside this piece of property in the back, as one of the back houses, that they have been very interested in getting at. We haven't seen them bring anything out. At one point, there's there, I, I can say, and when I keep saying that we didn't see them bring anything out, the, the, we did see them bring out what looked like a big uh, plastic bin, but I don't know if that was something that they had brought in with them as far as possible tools that they needed, but that was the only thing that was seemed to be out of the ordinary, and that did come out of that back house that we just showed you. This is that front area that we were just talking about moments ago. We watched as those Bearcats made their way up Mapleton to make the, to actually do this raid. And then uh, we watched as officers were getting through one of the pedestrian gates They're over here on this side of the property. Once they had breached that, well, then they opened those gates up right there and those uh, armored vehicles rolled in. They were very quick in whatever they needed to do to seize that home. Uh, that garage door went up very quickly and it doesn't seem to be actually a garage inside there. We've been trying to peek in with the camera every now and then. It looks like there's a large table inside there. So that might have been an office area or some sort of staging area. And that's where we believe that most of the people that we see in custody came from. At least that's where we watched them exit this building with the officers early on when this raid was just starting. As it stands right now, you've got plenty of these armored um, uh, law enforcement still walking the property. You see, uh, see them walking in pairs. A lot less of those weapons out, so they are less on the uh, defensive as it would be. And uh, you can see them just kind of making their way through that property. But I can tell you, every home that's on here, meaning there's three major homes. This one right here, there's a couple of officers still inside there. We know at least one officer is still inside here. So they're still standing guard. So whatever it is that they're doing... This isn't over by any means, and I think this is probably just getting underway. They just want to make sure that all these buildings are secure, and if there is anybody on this property, that they are in custody before they actually start whatever it is that they're looking for. But again, as you mentioned, very well planned, very uh, quickly executed, and of course, a number of officers out here. I couldn't even venture to say how many of these armored officers that are on the property. You can see them right there, and this is just just a small group. That was also one of the things. As soon as they made their way into that pedestrian gate, the first thing they did was open up all those doors on that Range Rover and then made their way into this portion of... And that's that garage that we've been talking about. That garage door went up very quickly. And at, of all the people that we've seen come out of the building, that's where they all came from. They walked them out, put them in this little corner right here, and that's where they've been questioning them ever since. Another ladder, as you were mentioning, a couple of ladders on site as part of this raid. I don't know what they're looking for or where they're trying to reach. But, uh, yeah, we did see somebody carrying a ladder, the second one on the property right now. It does seem like there are three different buildings on this property, the main mansion, and then two guest houses, for lack of better uh, knowledge, in terms of what they are exactly used for. But, yes, two smaller type houses on the lot as well. And, of course, the pool right there in the middle with the grass 
uh, lawn. So clearly, uh, yeah, this is going to take time. And that is why probably there are so many personnel on site to go through everything and do the search that they are conducting. We, again, don't know a lot of information in terms of what evidence they're trying to collect, who they're looking for, or why they made the raid to begin with. But again, this could possibly be uh, involving the sex trafficking investigation. And uh, again, when we get more details, of course, we'll bring it to you. But uh, this is going to be a while. You see the Department of Homeland Security officers right there in that Bearcat. You know, this could be phase two of what to do now, what they're searching for, and making sure they have all their information they need when they conduct a raid like this and go through the process of going through that property. It is a big mansion indeed, owned by Bad Boy Films. And 20 minutes ago at this point, we do have video from Earth. Some of that to you in a big as a, a juxtaposed to the live pictures you're seeing right now. But uh, when they made entry, it was very methodical and